Uh, so, as we as we all know, I am an an, an absolute genius. I am so goddamn intelligent that I recorded on this game for about an hour and a half to work out where exactly I wanted the first roller coaster to go in this park. And I lost all of the recording. <laughs> So, yeah, this I, I did all of this, I mean, it's not that much, but I, di I did all of this, and I uh, lo lost all the recording for it. But I guess it's fine, it's fine, we'll just continue from where I left off. Yeah, so as you can see, I started working on connecting the terrain, or just moving the terrain out to this point over here. Um, my goal is to have the whole back half of the park up at this level. So, I also bought a whole bunch of the plots. Um, obviously I still have a whole bunch I can buy yet before I hit the point of needing the extra expansions, which is right there. That is the spot where we start needing the extra expansions pack. So, yeah. At first, I was when I first discovered that I was actually a little worried about it because I was like, "Oh, I only have like this much space for roller coasters. That's not good." But then I thought about it, and it's like, you know what? It's not that big a deal. We we could still probably fit a pretty damn good park in here, I think. Anyway, so I think the first thing I want to do here, um, before we start doing too much with the roller coasters, I want to lift the scenery lift the scenery, lift the terrain up to its highest point. So this terrain over here is at 30 meters. So we need to bring this all the way up to that point. And I'm hoping to have it up to that point by there, right there. Um, I think that should be manageable and still be able to keep like the path smooth. Uh, oh. I lied. That's actually not a good point. We need to go like this. Okay. Which doesn't lead us leave us with too much room back here for rides and stuff. Um, I did mention in the third episode about having that big roller coaster lift hill going over this section for this uh, to just make this look a bit more exciting when you first enter. But I don't know that that's going to happen, if I'm going to be completely honest. I brought it up and then immediately remembered I don't want it going past 30. Goodness. Alright, there we go. So I'm not going to fill all this in quite yet. But eventually I will do that. By the end of this episode, I'm hoping to have this roller coaster at least started. Probably not completely built but I want to have it at least started. So I think for now, the best thing to do would actually just be work on making this terrain look nice while I wait f for me to have enough money that I'm comfortable with starting the roller coaster because the roller coaster will take up a lot of money. I don't know what exactly the biggest roller coaster in this park will be quite yet. Um. Part of me was kind of thinking like an intimate style launch coaster. But I don't know. I definitely can't do like a hyper coaster because I just simply don't have the uh, plot space for that. But again, it should be fine. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out what I want to do. Oh. Oh dear. So I definitely want this roller coaster to be a terrain coaster. I think this is at 30, right? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I don't yet know how exactly I'm going to do the terrain around the coaster itself. So we'll have to figure that out then. So far, I think doing stuff with the terrain is definitely 
one of my favorite things to do in this game so far. Um, which is cool because that's all it, the same goes for um, open RCT. Which is the roller coaster game I play more often. So it's cool to see some of that is crossing over into this game as well. Uh, what? I've been trolled! <laughs> what was that? Okay then. What the hell? <laughs> Oh. You see, this is what I was saying in episode 3 about it being really, really entertaining to see what other people do with roller coasters in this game. That is definitely something. Yeah, I think around this point I'll start to transition back into grass. Because I do want to have a lot of grass up top here instead of all stone like this. So I'll do some kind of transition for that here. Um, so hopefully that goes well. And there we go. Oh, we got all the terrain up to the maximum height that I'm going to bring it up to. Aside from around the roller coaster. This roller coaster, since it's going to be a terrain coaster, there obviously will be some more hills and stuff built around the coaster. But for the most part, when it comes to, like, when you're inside the park, like, actually, like, walking on the path inside the park, this is the highest you'll go. So I guess that leaves the only thing left to do is to start building this roller coaster. Again, I most likely will not be finishing this roller coaster in this video, but we will see. Oh, we're at the height limit. Where is the height limit? By 10 blocks. Ah! Is this the height limit? Oh dear. Okay, we can build there. That's good. I think I'm going to bring this down quite a bit before we start the turn, because I do want this to be like a GCI-styled roller coaster. Uh, oh, I didn't set the pivot. Set this to three. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, the pivot isn't working, hello? What is going on? Okay, let's go back here, and we'll just start turning it right away instead. And then we'll start to bring this back up here. That is a very interesting drop. I don't know how that's gonna go. Okay, I just want to test this to see if that's good or not, because that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> not terrible. It's definitely not terrible. It could be much worse than it is. I think something like that will be good. That's very gravity group-esque. This is now a gravity group wooden coaster, not a GCI. Uh, ooh, I don't like how... I do... I want to keep that, but I don't like how far down this goes. Why can't I... We're gonna have it start to come back um, down by this point, but we're also not gonna bring it quite so far down just because I don't like the transition out of that. And then I should be able to bring this back Like that. 
that. There we go, I think that's cool. It doesn't look horrible. Now we are getting close to this, so... Like I said, we definitely won't be able to build this whole roller coaster this episode purely just because of all this stuff. But, I'll build as much of it as I can here. Twisted airtime hill moment. Although I guess before I do that, let me make sure all this is actually okay, because... I am not entirely sure about it in its current state. Alright, let's see, how smooth is this? Or how not smooth is it, I guess I should say, because it's probably not very smooth at all. Man, that is really slow. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's probably as fast as I'm going to get it to go as well because of the height limit. So, that's a shame. So this is where... Wow, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, don't snap your grid. Why did it do that? Oh, dear lord. Okay, well, at least now I think it's flat. And then, I guess, we can start to twist it this way a little bit. I want this coaster to be pretty low to the ground at first here. It's a bit too much banking, I feel. I think that should be good. And then, I think because of where this goes, I think I'll have like an L shape. Um, layout, so it'll kind of go around here till maybe this point over here, turn around, come back, and then go back to the station. Or, I guess because of how much terrain I'm going to do around this, I probably could have it come back around this way, dip down under this, and it would be like a figure eight layout, so it would come back around, maybe go through here, come back over top of this part, and straight back to the station. I think maybe that could work, but that's some that's something future me is going to have to figure out because right now I can't continue this layout uh, past the point I'm currently at, unfortunately. We'll see how terrible this is. For a first roller coaster, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it is really slow, so I probably won't be able to do as much as I am wanting to. But I really don't think that's too bad for a first roller coaster. Alright, there we go. Cool, so we got that done. I just need to add these to these parts of path and then we'll be good all right there we go awesome so that is that so like I said next episode hopefully we will be finishing this roller coaster and after that I don't think I'll decorate around the coaster too much but I do want to finish this area before I move too far back into this area of the park. But I think for the time being, this is where I'll stop. I am very, very happy with the progress that has been made.